Since the 80s, he has consistently been one of the world's elite players. He has won numerous super tournaments, including the 2009 World Cup. He was also the challenger for the World Championship in 2012. As chess gets younger, he's still one of the force to fear. I'm very honored to have with me legendary grandmaster Boris Gelfin. Hi, Boris. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> Boris, welcome to the Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival. Now, I know you played in Aerofloat, but this yeah. is your first real true open with no rating cutoff in a very long time. Yes, yes, and I'm happy to be here because uh, uh, it's a tournament with a good name, with good tradition. Everybody who played here uh, praise it. And it's a great uh, location, great weather, and very strong tournament, extremely strong. Yes. Getting stronger and stronger year by year. Absolutely. And now you have had a phenomenal chess career, yeah. but you keep going with the same passion. What's your secret? Yes, yeah, the passion is a secret. Yeah, you know, when you love what you do, you do it day by day. Yeah. So even today, you work on chess every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we might say, okay, there are some uh, exceptions, but uh, normally, yes. Normally, I try to do as my work as much as possible. Right now, I watched your amazing award-winning documentary, yeah. Album 61. You must watch yeah. it if you haven't already. Yeah. Uh, it was very clear that yeah. as a child, you were very loved and you had very indulgent parents. Was that yeah. ever a pressure on you? No, no, no. I was really privileged that my parents never put pressure on me. That really they supported me but never put pressure. And yes. uh, I think it's a... Uh, that uh, gave me a lot of, uh, let me focus on chess without being pressured on result, on the process itself, I mean. On studying chess, playing chess, enjoying it, because I never felt pressure, I knew that, okay, I win or I lose, I'm the same person. Yeah. And I think that hasn't changed over time. Even today, every sports person needs that one parent who really pushes them into the game. Yes, uh, but uh, the secret is not to over push. Because we see many cases in chess and other sports and uh, when uh, parents uh, want to uh, become famous themselves or get their own career, their own money uh, through the children, it ruins the uh, mentality of sportsmen and uh, puts a stop at a certain moment, in my opinion. So if you were to advise the parents of today's young kids, it would be to to encourage them, but not to yes, put yes, too much pressure. Yes, yes, to encourage, but not to put pressure, because pressure kills. We can have an example of Magnus Carlsen. You can see that, okay, everyone can see that how his family supports him, but it's clear that uh, they put no pressure whatsoever. Yeah. They're there for every tournament? Yes, for have? every tournament, just to make him happy, not to uh, like to pre press, press him, yeah. Right now, if we were to, say, divide a pre-2012 World Championship Boris and a post-World yeah. Championship yeah. Boris, where are you in your mind space, in your personal space? How would you differentiate these two yeah. uh, Borises? Yeah, it's a good question. It's a good question. No, I think I, I had a really great moment. I managed to uh, get to the World Championship and uh, it gives me motivation to work hard because I have an idea that hopefully I can do it again. Okay, a lot of young contenders, but still, you know, 98, uh, all the public crossed me out. And in 2012, I played this match. So nothing is against that uh, I will be able to do it again. Of course, it's extremely difficult, but it gives extra motivation, uh, these memories of this great match. It was a great fight. Yes. Yes, I think I did my best, and uh, uh, because also before the match, uh, if you ask everyone, they would say, okay, Boris would be crushed whatsoever. And I played an equal match, I was leading, okay, I had some, uh, even tie break, I think I played, the uh, tie break, I'd say I played better, but okay, I didn't manage to do it, but I did my best, that's what counts, yeah. Undoubtedly, and now out of all your numerous chess successes and victories yeah. what for you has been truly the most special one no i think world championship it's uh, definitely the most special for each player because from childhood especially nowadays you have many tournaments rating uh, importance of rating grows 
But uh, when I was uh, growing up, uh, World Championship was like the uh, peak the of ultimate career, goal. ultimate goal. Yeah, and I remember as a child, I watched the uh, Karpov Korchne matches, and then Karpov Kasparov, mm -hmm. and then it imprinted in my head. So I was always dreaming to play this match. Inspired. Inspired. It gave me inspiration because you know. When I saw that the World Championship uh, cycle started, I had already, you know, like a double motivation. And I always uh, succeeded better than in uh, tournaments. Right, now, to get to that level, yeah. it almost seems that from, the, from your very childhood, you have to have like a single-minded dedication and discipline. Yeah. And I think you're an example of that. Looking back, would you have done yeah. anything differently? Because, of course, sacrifices are also involved. Well, if I would be do differently, it wouldn't be me. It would be a different person. But uh, of course, each uh, young player who inspires have to decide for himself. I wish uh, to all of them to find the best solution for themselves and uh, go forward. Yeah. So everyone has to decide for themselves. Yeah, no one can decide for you. No, neither your parents, neither your trainer, neither okay, public. You have to know if you are ready for it, if you are ready to accept setbacks, if you are ready to accept losses, uh, which are... Well, all this would go on the way. Yes, and all this will come along the way. There is no escaping no back escape, No escape, no right? escape. Everyone, everyone has to go through it, if you are strong enough for it or not. And everyone has to decide for himself. What yeah. do you think, for you personally, is the one thing that you have learned or evolved to love about the game and the one thing that you still struggle with after all this time? Uh, well, what I struggle, I can tell what I struggle. Tell to us. compromise. To compromise, yeah, you know, if I, if I do very well, if I do very bad. You know, to find this balance, to minimize the losses, it's really difficult for me. Because each game I want to do my utmost and when I'm in bad condition, it backfires. And uh, I find it's difficult uh, mentally to accept that sometimes you have to minimize the damage. So even after all these years, a yeah. bad day in office still affects you a lot? Yes, yes, it affects uh, strongly. Yeah. And what about, uh, what do you love about the game after all these years the, I think that it's keeps a, you going? I think it's unlimited possibilities. You know, even now when it's, uh, with computers, with theory developing so well, with so many information available, each day you discover something new, some new beautiful things. Okay, you st open any study, let's say, and you see the inner beauty of the game, some great study. Or some great game, you see, some inner beauty of the game, inner logic of the game. So and chess is always me. evolving. Yes. Right, and now you came from, a, you're from a time, a very different chess era, where there were yeah. no computers, actually. Yeah, yeah. And you're one of the few successful transitional players who yeah. have been able to be at the top with the computers coming in. Yeah. How is this transition for you? I think uh, I was lucky because in this way because the players who been a bit uh, older, they couldn't get this transition. They couldn't learn computer. When computer came, uh, I was my brain was flexible enough to accept it, even so I was not happy and to learn uh, how to deal with uh, all this data, with engines, how to use it in my advantage uh, rather than let this uh, information, uh, let's say, hijack me. Yeah? Do you prefer the earlier times when chess was a little more romantic and less about the computer engines? Or do you think that there's more positive that has come with the computers? Well, you should accept the uh, negative and positive and uh, I think it's uh, not very productive to regret about something, but uh, I think it's a good idea is it, uh, to think uh, how you could use computers to find something new and uh, use it uh, for advantage of chess to see the positive side. Let's say due to this, computers became so active, you can see that uh, players all over the world have more possibilities. When I was young, okay, if you were in some, in some remote place, you had much less chance to uh, learn something, to play something. Only outstanding talents could uh, break through, like Vichy, for example. But, but normally it was like uh, Europe, Europe, yeah, and uh, maybe States, yeah. 
uh, some few countries. Uh, but uh, nowadays you can see that uh, in every country, if the player has uh, talent and determination, he can break through. It's really, I really enjoy this idea. So maybe it's this, the fact that you embrace the change that makes yeah. you one of the successful transitional players. Because if you struggle with it, like you said, yeah. you are not going to be able to survive the competitiveness then. Yes, yes, I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> so, uh, Boris, now chess is getting younger. Yeah. And um, one can call your colleagues like uh, Vichy, uh, Kramnik, there's Topolov, there's Swidler, who have still been, who are still at the very, very top. Now, when yeah. you see each other play against the younger generation, yeah. do you secretly vouch for each other and want the person to win? Well, uh, very likely, very likely, very more often than not. More often than not, okay, because uh, uh, it gives you extra motivation also from personal point of view. If, let's say Ivanchuk uh, played brilliant now. In Doha. Uh, in Doha and before the European Club yes. Cup, uh, that okay, we are all the same age. It uh, gives you feeling that you are also capable to do it. Or wish you place brilliantly. Where do you really feel the effects or the challenge of a growing, let's say, wiser yeah. and uh, older? Like, in what part of the game do you feel the effects? Uh, young players we face now, uh, they are brought up on different bases. And sometimes you manage to get your knowledge and your, uh, in your advantage, but also they learn things much quicker. We have to admit they learn much quicker, they switch from opening to opening much quicker, from idea to idea. I mean, the best players uh, we see now. And this is a challenge, because so probably I can see things even deeper than them, I hope, but uh, they switch much quicker and they Reco re recover. No, motivation we is can not miss. a problem. Not a problem. The problem is to recover after game and to go to the next day. After a tough game, I do believe that if you are younger, you recover quicker. Uh, so. If in my age, one needs to make a much more effort to recover, yes. to focus only on this. And this is a, a thing I'm working on. And uh, Right. And now, uh, Boris, you're known to be a player with a universal style, someone yeah. who loves and can play brilliantly in pretty much any sort of position. But for you personally, what do you think is your biggest strength or what kind, what kind of chess do you enjoy the most? Well, I enjoy good chess. I, uh, basically, I don't have this big preference. What I enjoy is to play uh, good chess and, uh, you know, the chess with uh, idea. You know, that I do believe that the chess game has to be played with some ideas. Every move with an Every idea. Every move is an idea, yeah. It's uh, Tigran Petrosa, Knights World Champion. He taught me when I was a kid that you should think about each move, even in Blitz game. So, uh, it uh, deeply imprinted in my mentality. Yeah. So never play without a plan or an never idea? Never plan, uh, never make a move without an idea. Right, that's, that's some great advice. Now, Boris, just coming to your personal life, you're a family yeah. man, you have yeah. two kids, you have a beautiful yeah. wife, Maya. Yeah. Uh, but to be in this level, you have to have complete dedication and uh, no distractions. So, yeah. how do you balance that? It's, it's uh, not easy, but basically I manage because, okay, uh, when children are in kindergarten or in school, I have time to work and also they know when they come back, I work till certain time. And then I spent my time with them, which is uh, also very good emotionally. It uh, helps you to uh, recharge your emotional uh, balance. Because if focused only on studying chess, it's not good. When you play with children or talk with them or tell them some stories, it's uh, really uh, uh, very good. Keeps and now, you real. Keep you real. And now they're waiting for stories how I met monkeys in Gibraltar. I told them I'll be back with the stories <laughs> and they're waiting for it. So they're more excited to hear your stories than to know about what might have happened uh, in yes. a game. Yes, in a the game they say they wish me the best, but the stories about monkeys and animals. I told them a story recently how I met monkeys on the street of New Delhi. Oh. <laughs> near the parliament. <laughs> yes, they were we really have a lot of them in Delhi. Really excited, yeah. Right. Or how I met an elephant in, when I played in Sanginagar. Yes. Yes. I was actually there as a, as a very, very young child watching yeah. you all play and that yeah. was one of the most inspirational moments for me. Oh, uh, you see, really? Yeah? yeah, I was there. <laughs> really? You see, yeah. I do believe, because I do believe that it really inspires if you see some 
big players playing uh, uh, if you age. see in a young life uh, it inspires you it inspired me when i saw in my city i saw tal and geller and jan kasparov and jan yusupov playing it inspired yes. me immensely and you have inspired a whole generation as well now boris now of course it's clear that to be at the top you require a lot of hard work but yeah. as a human what do you think are the qualities that one has to possess the human traits to make it to the top it's a really good question i think one have to be able to admit mistakes because if you repeat the same mistake you'll go nowhere you have to have high work ethic high work ethic and you have to be flexible yeah you have to if you just work on calculation it won't do well if you work just on end games it won't do well if you work just on openings it won't do well you have to find balance to uh, and to think what's the most productive way to work and what is the uh, most useful thing at the certain moment but that is true from a chess point of view but as a person it's it's common belief that someone has to possess this toughness of character and yeah. this almost like this killing instinct yeah uh what do you do you think it's almost important to be a slightly mean person and not care about emotion so much to make it to the top it's possible but it also yeah, i started it because it's also a very interesting question what is the motivation of the players because different players have different motivation like me i have motivation to improve myself to right. get rid of the weaknesses and depending of of your motivation type of your motivation uh, you develop different qualities and different character that actually brings me to my final question boris that how do you think that chess has evolved certain characters in you what what traits in your personality do you owe to your uh, attachment and addiction to this game how has chess evolved you it's a very good question you know alexander alekhan said that uh, thanks to chess i developed my character and basically uh, you could say that uh, well, i could become maybe tougher i could become uh, but at the same way more flexible because i very types i learned the lessons that if i do things which i do it leads nowhere i have to admit it and to change and to go a bit do a bit differently so maybe ability to analyze uh, your own experience uh, but in another way to stick to your values right very well said it was amazing to have this conversation with you boris thank you, you. it's my pleasure to inspire all of us and best of luck for the tournament thank you very much thank you very much <laughs> thank you boris thank you tanya